kindly join in singing our joy o lord our joy o lord is in you our joy o lord is in you you gather us around your table you gather us around your table you make us one in heart in peace and love thanksgiving masses offered by fiona pinto a parishioner for success in business first death anniversary of brian dies and alice vora death anniversary of austin routen for the souls of raymond fernandez amelia lobo and departed members of family Philomena Mudgal Terence de Souza people who died due to the pandemic Mrs Aliama John Jerome de Mello Albert de Costa Betty and Oscar Omar Magdalene and John Baptist de Silva Kitara and Gabriel de Souza Lino Pimenta, Victoria Isles, Carmelina Mascarenas, Augustine and Elizabeth Rodriguez, Joe Dias, Mr. Casey Joy, Monica Frederick, Romeo and Asha Miranda, Trevor and Edgar, Frederick Roxburg. Ramona Dias, Mr. P. A. Vargis, William Rocha, and departed members of family, Sebastian and Josephine Dias, and for the souls <coughs> in purgatory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. A warm welcome to each one of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Every Eucharist reminds us that we come to celebrate our faith, our faith in the God who is our love, rich in mercy and forgiveness. We make ourselves aware of our unworthiness. our sinfulness and pray for his mercy lord jesus you came to draw humanity to the father in heaven lord have mercy lord have mercy you teach us how to love one another christ have mercy Christ have mercy you have chosen us to be witnesses of this love lord have mercy lord have mercy and may almighty god have mercy upon us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray in the silence of our hearts we pray for our own needs our own intentions especially those who are suffering from various ailments O God who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
the first reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, The Lord Will Provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you. And I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gates of his enemies. And in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham lived at Beersheba. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Our response to the reading is, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord, for he has heard my voice, my appeal. For he has turned his ear to me whenever I call. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They surround me, the snares of death. The anguish of the grave has found me. Anguish and sorrow I found. I call on the name of the Lord. Deliver my soul, O Lord. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple. I was brought low and he saved me. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Kindly join in praising Jesus joyfully. Ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia, alleluia. Ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia, alleluia. In Christ, God was reconciling the word to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia, alleluia. Ah, alleluia, ah, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over and came to his own city. And behold, some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? What is easier, to say your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and went home. When the crowds saw it, they were afraid. And they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, in both the readings, we have messages on faith. In the first reading, Abraham is tested with his faith. God calls Abraham to offer his son, his only son Isaac, the promised one to be sacrificed. And Abraham willingly offers to sacrifice his son. He does not question God, how will your promise come to fulfillment? How will the generations increase? No. He knows that God is all-powerful and God is all-loving. 
he is aware that whatever that has come from god to him is gift and he has to be returning those gifts freely what god has given him freely must be returned also freely and we know god wanted to test his faith god did not want abraham to kill his son to offer it in sacrifice and when god acknowledge his faith god blesses him abundantly my dear sisters and brothers the message of the first reading the story of abraham invites us to be strong firm footed in our moment of crisis the story of abraham also challenges us to surrender whatever we have received from god without any reluctance that the more we are tested in faith the more we allow god to control our lives the more god blesses and the more we are tested and we come positive we pass our faith our test of faith we grow in intimacy with god and that is what is seen in the life of abraham he was very often tested and he passed his test and that brought him closer intimacy in that intimacy with god and that is why we call abraham is a model of faith my dear sisters in the second reading we hear another message of faith it is the people who brought that paralytic to jesus it is their faith that brings healing to that paralytic but on the other side we see that the pharisees the scribes didn't have faith in jesus they didn't have faith that jesus an ordinary human being had the power to forgive sins they accused him of blasphemy they failed to see god working in the humanity of jesus my dear sisters and brothers jesus first forgives his sins and it is only after that he heals of his paralysis jesus gives priority to forgiveness of sins to our woundedness to our soul that is wounded very often we think that our physical healing is important no according to the scriptures jesus tells us today that the spiritual healing is more important how often do we spend so much time we make so much effort on healing our bodies we spend endless time in losing our weight we want to slim and trim ourselves bodily healing but bodily healing without spiritual healing is far more dangerous every eucharist reminds us that jesus christ shares in his authority of forgiving our sins and healing us bodies it is up to us to express his healing the more we come in faith to this eucharist we definitely will experience his healing my dear sisters and brothers it is important to note the paralysis of the body is not as dangerous as the paralysis of the mind and soul we are called to work tirelessly to heal the woundedness of our soul amen
please join in singing. There are numerous strings. Numerous strings. There are numerous strings in your lute. Let me add my own among them. Then when you smite your chords, my heart will break its silence and my life will be one with your song. There are numerous strings in your lute. Let me add my own among them. Amidst your numberless stars, let me place my own little lamb. There are numerous strings in your lute. Let me add my own among them. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you, for you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God holy of hosts, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, gracious Archbishop, the auxiliaries and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Saviour's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us pray may this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life o lord we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through christ our lord amen pray to saint gerard for a special favor I thank you O most holy trinity for the graces granted to Saint Gerard especially for the virtues with which you adorned him in life and for the glory which you have given him in heaven since these favors were granted to him for the edification of the holy church and for his glorification before all people grant me by his merits through the merits of jesus and mary the grace kindly mention your petition and you saint gerard my powerful advocate intercede for me in your great charity I place this urgent need of mine in your hands prostrate yourself therefore before the throne of the divine mercy and do not depart until you have obtained for me the favor that I ask amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace thanks be to god kindly join in singing i will sing of the mercies of the lord i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever i will sing I will sing I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness thy faithfulness with my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever i will sing i will sing i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever i will sing of the mercies of the lord <laughs> 